Did you know that the Second Vatican Council taught us about the vocation of religious life? I am Sister Anthony Mary Diago. Let me share with you something about it. On October 28, 1965, St. Pope Paul VI promulgated the Second Vatican Council document Perfecta Caritatis, a decree on the adaptation and renewal of religious life. Addressing members and leaders of all various forms of consecrated life, he showed that this vocation and state of life is a pursuit of perfect charity through the evangelical councils, the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, which draws its origin from the example of the Divine Master. In this document, St. Pope Paul VI calls religious to live their vows as a total dedication to Christ with fidelity. He states the general principles of the adaptation and renewal of the life and discipline of religious families, all institutes of consecrated life, so that they be a stronger witness to serve the Church more fervently. The Church, the Bride of Christ, makes visible the love of Jesus Christ. Just as the world needs good examples of virtuous, holy, and generous married couples and families, so does the world need the witness of Christ through religious priests, sisters, and brothers who are faithful to their vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. As religious individuals are human beings, it is very important that they receive a guidance and support to guide them to live their state of life with fidelity. It is the grace given by God that strengthens and enlivens the religious to live according to his or her vows, charism, apostolic service, and constitutions. The Church as Mother promulgates this teaching to strengthen, form, and guide her consecrated children to follow Christ with complete trust, surrender, and perfect charity for the good of the human family. Every morning when I wake up, I thank God for all that He has given me, and I ask His Son to give me the grace to live my state of life with fidelity. I renew my vows and my commitment to serve Him in prayer, the common life, and apostolic service. I ask Him for the strength to live for Him in the pursuit of perfect charity, to grow in all my relationships, my prayer life, virtue, and to only love. With the help of God, my superiors, and my sisters, my religious family, I follow the Lord with trust and faith, living according to my vows as a religious sister of mercy of Alma, Michigan, espoused to Jesus Christ. This is the way I have been called to make visible the love of Jesus Christ to the world. With the diverse charisms of religious life, there are countless ways this love is manifested. To read the full document Perfecta Caritatis, click on the link in the copy below.